Coming soon to own on video and DVD. No. <laughs> Get back to the dust. Funny. Oh, oh, oh. I'll start with a little bit of background on my experience with fighting games. I've been playing Smash Bros. for about seven years now. I started with Smash 4 when I was in high school, but I never got to play that often since I didn't own a Wii U and I was too busy rotting my brain on Destiny 1. I never took Smash too seriously whenever I would play it with friends, it was mostly me picking Princess Peach and spamming Side B the entire match. But that was all about to change when I went to college. I lived in a college dorm room with my buddy Andrew. Now Andrew was really good at the game and he owned a Wii U which is probably why he was so good at the game. We played Smash every day. I'm not exaggerating when I say that I would lose almost every single match that we played. Not in a dignified way either, he would slaughter me over and over again. It was usually a three stock that ended in a spike every single match, it was quite demoralizing. I remember there were days where we would wake up and get out of our little bunk bed, boot up Smash, and he would just look over at me and go, who do you want to lose to? And I would pick his character to play, and he would beat me every time without fail. I distinctly remember a night where he three-stocked me, ending the game with a down air offstage, playing as Ryu on a single Wiimote. Not a Wiimote nunchuck, just the moat. After so many losses, I just assumed that I was really bad at fighting games and just didn't have the ability in me. But then, I was struck with the inevitable. I started watching hours and hours of YouTube content on how to pick a main, how to play neutral, how to recover, matchup guides, watching tournament VODs trying to copy the way that they moved, trying to copy the way that they played the game. I would go into training mode and drill combos for hours. And despite all of that effort, Andrew would still beat me. I didn't think I was improving at all. After all, where were the results? I mean, sure, I wasn't getting three-stocked as often as I was, and wasn't as prone to getting spiked at the end of every match, but where were the wins? I didn't realize it at the time, but those hundreds and hundreds of losses made me better at the game. When I would play people who weren't super sweaty at the game, I could actually win. My training of getting thrashed over and over again in that hyperbolic time chamber we called a dorm room actually paid off. You didn't actually lose a match if you know why you lost and how to fix it. This has basically been my approach to learning games ever since. Anyway, we're talking about Rivals of Aether now, go! Rivals of Aether is a competitive platform fighting game. The goal is to smack your opponent off the edge with whatever tools you have at your disposal. Each character has unique movement, attack options, and strategies. Smash and Rivals are very similar games. Like in Smash Bros, you go boom, boom, bop, bop, pow. But in Rivals of Aether, you go bop, bop, boop, bing, bop, bada, bop, boom, pow. So, uh, as you can see, it's uh, basically the same exact video game. Rivals of Aether is a ripoff. The end. Do you get it? Markiplier funny. Though both games are fairly similar, here are some key differences. Difference 1. Rivals of Aether was designed to be competitive, unlike Smash. I love Smash Bros, don't get me wrong, but the game's main goal is to be a fun party game, not a balanced fighting game. Rivals of Aether does not use the pick-up-and-play approach to the gameplay that Nintendo does with Smash Bros. This game is not for the casuals. A casual could get into Rivals and get good, absolutely, but this game is for little sweatballs like me and probably you if you're watching this. Difference 2. Ledge grab? More like fucking over the hedge grab. We're rocking the suburbs, around the clock just one more time. You don't have to grab the ledge, like in Smash. You have two jumps, including wall jumps, an air dodge, and whatever character-specific recovery moves you may have. This makes the game much faster feeling since there's no pause in the recovery process, and it completely changes how edgeguarding is approached. 
Difference 3. The online play in Rivals doesn't have big green stink lines coming off of it. Rivals of Aether uses rollback netcode, which helps counter a lot of issues that other online fighting games would typically give you, and it's pretty good at matching you against players that are in or near your general region. So now you can watch yourself get sauced without any buffering. Alright, class over. You guys get it. You've been watching me play it in the background this entire time. Rivals of Aether, day one. My first sign that I made a good choice buying Rivals was when I saw that there was a practice mode inside the character select screen. I can't even begin to explain to you how genius this is. You can see if you like how a character feels before you even play a match with them. You can even practice combos on a bot while you queue up for an online match. This feature is genius and should be in every single fighting game ever. I instantly connected with Orkane's moveset, this little orca puppy looking thing, when I tried him for the first time, and I decided right then and there that Orkane would be my one trick. This is probably a good time to mention, I don't mean 24 hours in a row. I'm not going to be sitting down and playing a video game for 24 hours straight. This is 24 hours of in-game match time. I originally planned to divide my time half and half between online and ranked, but uh, it's not going so well, as you can see. <laughs> And now, everyone's favorite part of learning a fighting game. Getting rolled. I woke up at was seven. I waited till eleven just to figure out that no one would call. I think I've got a lot of friends, but I don't hear from them. What's another night all alone? When you're spending every day on your own And here it goes I'm just a kid and a life is a nightmare I'm just a kid, I know that it's not fair Nobody cares cause I'm alone And the world is having more fun than me Tonight And maybe when the night is dead Oh yeah, 
I should probably do the tutorial or something. So after getting blown up for a while, I figured it was time to study my character a bit more. Rivals has very concise and informative tutorials on everything you need to know about the game, from movement to character-specific guides. Through these guides, I learned a few tools Orkane had that I didn't know about, like how using strong attacks when on top of your puddle makes them much more powerful kill moves, or how forward air can be used to zone out an approach, but it can also double as a handy movement tool. Keep in mind, this is now day three of me playing the game and I finally got around to doing the tutorial, but I learned a lot from all of those lost games. I learned that my approaches were too predictable. I would always try to start a combo with dash attack, which is a great combo starter, but it's predictable. Once my opponent learned I would always approach with dash attack, it was an easy win for them, as you saw earlier. I also learned that Orkane has a very tough time recovering. Most of my deaths were caused either by not knowing how to recover without my puddle, or choosing to recover with my puddle and getting heavily punished for it. Rivals has a great resource called the Rivals of Aether Academy Discord. Here you can find other inexperienced players to challenge if you're tired of getting comboed to death in the so-called casual mode. Or you could just play with your buddies. If you got those. This is my friend Chavez. So I did stand-up comedy one at an open mic bar. How was that? <laughs> I got all the guys to laugh. <laughs> the guy there was laughing. Not uh -huh. a single woman <laughs> Like, two smiles from the whole crowd that were female. <laughs> two smiles! <laughs> Chavez has been on the Rivals train for a while. In fact, he was the reason I finally decided to give the game a chance in the first place. Here's some highlights from our first few games. I can recover without the puddle. Check this shit out, check this shit out. You go. Why did you do that? <laughs> Why do you hit like a bus full of concrete? It's so from your glass cannon. I I'm I've yet to see the glass aspect of this character. <laughs> it has only been canon so far. <laughs> I'm just happy I made it back to stage, honestly. <laughs> I think your frog might be better than your crystal pistol. But my combos are fucking snazzy. When I enter Frogland, it's not a good time. Let me have my puddle, damn you. <laughs> what a read. No! Okay. Oh wait, oh. I just- I just need to boop you, dude. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, just do that to me. <laughs> Quit DIing in. Ah, as I DI in. Oh, this could be bad. It's Froggy Land. I'm in Frog Land, and I don't like it. Get back to the death stage. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought I got you for sure. You can't you can't get you can't get Mr. Bowflex. That's my nickname. This is not your nickname. No one has ever called you that. <laughs> you fucking liar. No! 
Oh, I have another stock. Almost made that not another stock. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Fuck out of here. That was sick. That was so sick. That's going in the video. <laughs> I feel like that's how I end every game with you. Wave dash into the puddle is is the that's the gaming. Oh! 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that felt good. This game gives the dopamine rush big time. You've been playing pretty good. I've been playing better, for sure. I'm improving. When I hit day three, I felt myself starting to understand the game a little bit better. Let me break this gameplay clip down as an example of what I mean. If you aren't into fighting games, this might sound like gibberish, but I'll try my best to be coherent. I noticed early on in the match that this Molo liked to roll when they would miss a strong attack, so I used my side special here to punish what I knew he would do. This is commonly referred to as a read. After that hits, I dash over to the ledge to try and confirm a kill with my back air. You turn your character around just before you jump. I do this because back air is one of Orkane's best kill moves, especially off stage. Unfortunately, I don't hit with the sweet spot, which is on the tip of Orkane's tail. Here I panic a little since I'm off stage with Orkane, but I'm able to make it back with a wall jump up special. Like all Molo mains, the worms in this player's brain whisper for him to spam more strong attacks. Fortunately, I'm able to jump over the hitbox and punish with a falling neutral air. The Molo here has three options, tech in place, tech roll in, or tech roll out. I just had to guess which option he would choose. And the Molo gets hit by Bubble Butt, which is the official name of this move. Fight me. Then you just run over to him and go <laughs> God, this video is getting too long. I won that.
then my win streak got ruined by this Olympia player. If you play Olympia, go ahead and comment where you live down below so that I can actively avoid you. I could have grinded ranked for longer, but once I hit gold 5, I started only getting matched up with platinum players, and that became not fun. Very quickly. Oh brother, this guy stinks! For the rest of my 24 hours, I just wanted to hop into casual mode and have a good time playing some characters that I never played before. You can see me here playing Maple for the first time. But you know I had to end off the 24 hours with a few games with my buddy Chavez. <laughs> No! <laughs> My lag switch. No, rolled in. Working. Hey, did you see the new MK Leo? Swargo? No. What? Nice. Nice. Butthead. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> oh! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you read me so hard. I don't know. I have. What oh, am I, I doing? Up. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> ah! He's nuts. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My smash attacks without puddles have no dick. <laughs> Girth. No girth, no cock, no <laughs> balls, nothing. Oh, I thought that was it. No. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's two out of three clutch situation. You just fucking annihilated me, nailed me to the floor. <laughs> Couldn't do shit. What do you use to edit the the, the videos? I use Premiere. Oh yeah, yeah. You can just use Audacity, and what you'll do is you'll just um. You'll have- you'll create the audio files because you should be able to- That was rude, you were explaining something. Woo. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> that was sick. Were you recording that? Yeah, I'll put I'll fucking put that <laughs> yes. in. I think the only logical conclusion is to do a money match for all of our money. <laughs> mm. Alright, that was expected. Good shot on that one. That was good. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, beautiful. You got me right there. That was a <laughs> nice pinch. Thanks. Mm, 
You're utilizing your uh, ability. That was really good ability usage. That was insane.